Hello ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Radolescence and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in and in this video it is my pleasure and my honor to be bringing to you guys what I consider to be my top 10 best slash favorite fragrances for the fall of 2015 and this is of course going to be my niche list as you can tell by the title down below. So it was really hard for me to put this list together. It was actually originally supposed to be a top 10 list up until a few hours ago when I was in the midst of compiling it and I was thinking to myself, you know what, I can't leave this fragrance out. I can't leave this fragrance out and then in the end it turns out that I'm not going to leave any of the fragrances out. I'm going to put them all in my top 20 video. So it is going to be a little bit of a longer list so I do want to pause apologize that from the forefront, from the get-go, but nonetheless, these are fragrances that I just, not only have I been wearing a lot of them already this fall, but a lot of them I am dying to wear as soon as it gets a little bit colder out, and uh, I can definitely see myself wearing these a lot in the months to come. A lot of these are also going to be winter scents too, so what I'm actually going to do is um, the ones that um, I think could be worn in the winter as well. They're not going to be as higher up in the list just because they're probably going to be a little bit higher up in my winter list. A lot of Fragrances I've actually removed from my fall list like Zerjoff. I know I had more than words in my top 20 last year It's actually I have no Zerjoffs in this list this year Just because I feel like a lot of them like mom look and all cat and more than words They would work far better in the winter list So you're gonna see those in the winter list, but guys I am so excited. I want to not waste any more time. I just want to say that this is a list that I put together. These are my personal preferences. Of course, it's going to vary from yours. And please, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know what fragrances are you looking forward to wearing the most in the fall of 2015. So I do have a designer list coming up, so please stay tuned. But let's go ahead and get it started with my niche top 20. Number 20 on my list is a fragrance that unfortunately I still only have a travel atomizer for. It's part of the Hermescence line. It's one of my favorites and I've smelled a few and this one is Ambre Narguile. Now this is a fantastic fragrance from this collection. Um, it's just very warm and soft and spicy and inviting. It's an amazing scent. Now number 19 once again, I only have an exclusive official travel atomizer. I wish I had more of this, but it is an expensive fragrance. It's actually by Clive Christian, and it's called Clive Christian Z for Men. Now, the perfumer is a genius, Christian Provenzano. He's actually been in the industry since he was 19 years old. This is a very spicy scent. It has pink pepper and black pepper and white pepper, if I'm not mistaken. I did a review of this. Um, you can go check that out, but um, great scent. Definitely look forward to wearing this one more often. Kind of has like the cedar wood dry down, a little bit of incense in there as well. Actually reminds me a lot of Poif 23 by Lala Bon. Number 18 on my list is an exclusive from the Chanel line. This one is called Sycamore. This is a very dark, rich, deep, resinous scent. It actually reminds me a lot of Lalique's Ancre Noir. I think both of those scents are actually great. I love wearing both of them in the fall and in the winter as well. And then we have a scent that was actually sent to me for free by my good friend Shaheen. So thank you so much for that. Your generosity is just too much. You didn't have to do this. This is part of the Towerville line. Perfumer is uh, Andy Tower. This one is called Incense Flash. This is an amazing scent. It's woodsy. It's incense -y with olibanum. It's um, leathery as well. It smells like a brand new leather coat or leather boots. It's an amazing scent. And then at number 16, we have the scent that this one smells very similar to. Once again, it's an exclusive. Uh, it's called Poif 23. This is actually the London exclusive, um, so you can only buy it certain times throughout the year, and I don't think it's it's uh, available every year, only when uh, Lila Bo does those annual promotions, but amazing scent, really nice benzoin, Pro probably the best benzoin note that I have smelled in a fragrance. So you gotta wait until it dries down, really starts to come out. And then number 15 on my list is a fragrance that has been a little bit higher up on my list in the past. I believe this was number one on my list last year. Not that I fell out of love with it, but you know, I've acquired some new scents. I've been wearing it a lot, but also it's been discontinued. So I'm trying not to use up my entire bottle, even though I do have a backup. This is by Magnetic Scent, and it's called Untitled Number 2. Now, you can purchase this scent under the brand Baruti, and it's called Chai. It's the same exact composition. I've smelled them both. I do not pick up on any differences. It's an amazing scent by composer Spiros Trosopoulos. It actually smells like chai tea. It has a milky quality, cacao, rose, spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom. Amazing. 
The next one is by one of my favorite perfumers, Bertrand Duchafour. This is um, a scent that not a lot of people talk about, but it's one of my favorites. It's a balmy, kind of a resinous, incense -y, orangey scent. It's called Bom du Doge by Eau de Tully. Such an amazing scent. Definitely speaks of regality and high class and exudes that. Next one on my list is also by perfumer Bertrand Duchafour, and this one is called Havana Vani. Now it's called Vani Absolumen. Same exact scent, same exact composition, has not been reformulated to my knowledge, and it's a very spicy, warm sort of vanilla scent. Amazing, I love it. At times, it even reminds me of the smell of pumpkin. It's a little bit weird, but for that reason, it kind of evokes that autumnal, seasonal quality about it. And then here we have an exclusive from the house of By Killian. This is actually a Russian exclusive and uh, you have the Fabergé egg here. This one is actually called Criminal of Love. This is an amazing scent too. Um, I forget who the perfumer is behind this one, but with this scent you have Papyrus, which kind of reminds me of Le Labo Santal 33, but then you also have a rosy quality with a little bit of sweet resins in the dried down, I think like labdanum and vanilla. Absolutely amazing, maybe even a little patchouli as well. This next one is a gourmand, and you know, I like wearing my sweet scents in the fall. This one is by perfumer Maurice Roussel, and it's for the house of Bon number nine. This one is called New Harlem. Now, there are plenty of cheap alternatives on the market, like you have Michael Jordan Legend, you also have um, Rokas Man, also done by the same perfumer, but I think this has the highest quality, and I like that lavender note. It kind of keeps you on your toes, you know? It's a really nice twist to the composition. All right, guys, let's get into the top 10. These are my guns, these are my heavy hitters, these are my go-to, my staple fragrances for the season. And I wanna start it off with my number 10. My number 10 is a, a scent that I, I haven't been wearing too much. I did wear it a bit last year. I'm planning on wearing it a lot more this year just because I love the note of almond. And this one has a really nice almond note, very well done, kind of balmy and sweet. It's called Tanka Imperial by Guerlain. What an amazing scent. It reminds me of another one that's also in this list, but this one I feel like is incredibly versatile. Definitely sweet, but it sits a little bit closer to the skin. Very versatile, very pleasant and inviting. Number nine is yet another gourmand scent. This one has some boozy elements, also the note of plum, which I absolutely love. It adds a nice little unique characteristic about it. By Frappan, this one is called 1270. What an amazing scent. Next one on my list is a spicy scent. It's actually a very expensive scent. It's from the House of Creed and it's part of the Royal Exclusives Collection. This one is called Spice and Wood. You get a lot of woods like sandalwood and cedarwood, but then you also have spices like clove and nutmeg and cardamom and I believe a little bit of cinnamon. Absolutely amazing. Next one on my list is from the house of Nasamato. This is a really nice sophisticated yet sensual scent. It has magnolia, chocolate and patchouli. This one is called Pardon. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's between this and Duro and perhaps even Black Afghano, but I, I love Duro. I love this one equally as much. And then my number six is a fragrance also by Christian Provenzano who did Clive Christian V. And actually, I get some overlaps here. I think this one is a little bit more enjoyable. I think this one is a little bit more unique. It's by the house of Bodicea, the Victorious, and it's called Vetiver Imperial. This has a really nice blend of citrus too. You have Tunisian Neroli, you have bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin orange. It's inviting, but I think it's also incredibly versatile as well. You have patchouli, cedarwood, and some resins in the dry down. And then you also have some florals in the mid, like Moroccan rose and Egyptian geranium. Oh my God, amazing scent. Let's get into the top five favorite fragrances for the fall. So hard for me to compile this list, like I said, but you know what, I think I did it. I think I narrowed it down and I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about it. So let's get into my number five. I knew right away when I set out to compile this list that this fragrance was definitely going to be in the top 10. But then when I started looking at all the other competitors and contenders, I realized that, you know what, it's actually gonna be in the top five. It's such a great scent, new acquisition by Christian Dior, part of the La Collection Privé line, it's called Fev Delicious, such a gourmand. You have tonka bean and vanilla and cocoa or cacao. So delectable and rich and warm. Man, if you haven't tried it yet, you need to do yourself a favor. Go check it out. I actually did a review of it. I'll leave a link to that down below as well. So any of these fragrances, if I've reviewed them, you're gonna see the link down below. Make sure to check them out. I cannot speak highly enough about any of these scents. 
All right, getting into my number four. Um, there was a point when I said, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't put this in this list. And maybe I should only keep it in the winter list because I wear this in the uh, winter like it's going out of stock. I'm gonna need a new bottle soon. But I said to myself, you know, I can't lie to myself. Who am I kidding? I know I'm gonna wear this in the uh, fall too. I might actually make this my son of the night. So I said, let me keep this list as honest as possible. So of course, with that being said, I had to include this scent. This one is by Tom Ford, part of the private blend line. This one is called Tobacco Vani. Really nice spicy tobacco with like clove and cinnamon. And then you also have, uh, you know, spicy vanilla, excuse me, but you also have that moist, like almost cherry flavored tobacco note. <sighs> Absolutely amazing. And then you can't create a fall list without including this next scent. This one by Serge Luton is called Chergui. Makes number three spot on my list. Very dry, sort of um, hay, tobacco, resinous, rich, powdery scent. It really puts me in the mood of fall. Getting into my number two. This one could have been my number one. I'm not gonna lie. I've been wearing this one a lot lately. I'm so glad I have this one in my collection. This is a boozy, tobacco, cognac, whiskey, spicy, sweet, vanilla sort of a scent. Honestly, I don't think there's any other fragrance in my entire collection, the quality of which is as high or higher than this one. This one is by Roja Dove or Roja Parfum and it's called Creation E, also known as Enigma. If you have not yet tried this scent, you need to at least get your hands on a sample of it. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get into my number one scent, my absolute favorite fragrance for the fall of 2015, topping off my niche list. It's yet another fragrance by the perfumer Bertrand du Chafour. I knew it was going to be number one before I even set out to do this list. And then when I reevaluated it and I looked at all of these phenomenal, fantastic, amazing fragrances, I thought to myself, you know what? I think I still am more excited to wear this fragrance than all of these other fragrances, despite me being very excited to wear all of them. But the fragrance that I'm talking about is by Amouage, and it's called Jubilation. 25. Um, this is the non-magnetic cap. This is the original formulation. Man, I cannot wait to wear this fragrance. Again, scent of the night might either be tobacco vanille, it might be the Jubilation 25, just because I have been craving it so much as of late. Such an amazing scent. You have the incense, the myrrh, the resins, the apopinax. You have that berry note in the opening. You have this warm richness in the dry down. It just screams luxury and regality. It is the gift of kings, and I couldn't have said it better myself. What a great motto to, or slogan to really coincide with this luxurious, regal composition. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. Man, this is honestly, and I'm not kidding you guys, this has by far been the most difficult list that I have ever compiled. So I'm really excited that I was able to do it. Again, you know, there are some times when I'm like, man, this one could have been number one. This one could have been number one. But at the end of the day, this is the one that I'm looking forward to wearing the most. So guys, Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what fragrances are you looking forward to wearing the most. Leave a comment down below. I will definitely try to reply to all of your comments. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to rate and subscribe as well for future videos. So again, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Stephen with another video from Red Essence. We'll see you soon.